The adventure begins. I'm shopping for house stuff. I'm in a department store called Nitori, and uh, I only have to decorate a tiny little room, you saw, but I want it to be the coolest little room ever for this carpet down here, please. Shag green carpet that's been, that sticks to the floor. Where is it? I want it. I want grass in my house. Where is that? Where do I find it? <laughs> oh my god. I walked in here and the first thing I smelled was tatami. They have a whole tatami section. Look, you gotta see this. Look, I gotta show it to you. It's just too cool. Okay. Right when I walked in the door, I'm like, wow, that's Japanese summer. And they have all these products I've never seen before. I haven't been, you know, looking in, you know, aren't these great? Look at these. Aren't these great? The tongue covers. I'm totally going to get one of those. Get one. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a toy store every day now. Okay. Christmas. I have Christmas stuff here for it. <gasps> okay. So, look at these chairs. Isn't that cool? Okay, so look. These are like, oh my, the smell is totally the tummy. Bamboo heaven. Look, look at these mushy, mushy uh, mats. And they have little pillows that match. And the mats. Okay, little pillows. You get your mat here, put outside or something, and then you get your, your a matching pillow <laughs> made out of bamboo. There are tons of them here. Oh, yeah, little, lots of little seats all made out of bamboo or tatami. Look at all these tatami. So they cool. So many patterns that you can put on the ground. Yeah, you know, they're neat next to your bed. So you, you don't really appreciate it. You guys, you know, in America, you like the, the feel of um, carpeting. But carpeting gets dirty and you don't really understand it, but bugs and everything live in that stuff. But tatami, they don't live in it and it keeps clean and it smells good for a long time. And they last for a long time and they wear well and they're easy to clean. Japanese really got it right with the tatami thing. They got it dang right, especially in humid climates. Any humid climate in America, if you're not... See, the problem is you can't get bamboo, but it's so easy to grow, isn't it? Throw out a bunch of seeds and grow grow bamboo. Man, this stuff grows like weeds. What does it grow like three feet in a day? <laughs> Come on. Okay, look, I've got too many things to do. I'm too busy. I just can't talk to you. I'll be here. I'll be back in a while. I just had to show you these beds. Comforters. In the summertime, by the way, these thick things in the summer. Isn't it cool? Ah, oh, you guys got all that stuff in America. Yeah, I know. We've got silk. Okay. Bye. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at that one. Nah. I feel like Goldilocks or something. It's too small. Come on. Found the grass. Grass. Just like this. Kind of soft, but still easy to vacuum and take care of. And, uh, and you stick it, and then you put stuff on top of it, like the desks and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, oh, big pieces. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs>
I'm gonna put a golf course in my room. What do you think? Don't you think it would look cool? Nah. I wish they had more, more of a woodsy looking bottom to it. You know, it would be cool if they had like little side pieces here too. Oh, so you can finish it off. Finish it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, I'm into this. And look, they got they even have shag carpeting if I want. It's green. Green shag carpeting? Would I ever want that? My grandpa's place in Vegas used to have this. Man, was that a swag place. He even had glass glass uh, see-through end boxes with marble bowls with marbles inside. <laughs> and speakers in every room. Huh. <laughs> like it. Still having a lot of fun. So many things, you know. I think I'm gonna buy like this little hanger thing, some hangers, and uh, you know, I've gotta hang things off the door, I guess. So I'll probably get one of these so I can hang my my shirts and stuff off the door. When I'm lazy, I come home. I'm gonna wear the same thing over and over again. So you know, might as well uh, just hang it on the door or something like that. And then they've got these. What's that? These things here, these like uh, stick up on the wall, you know, like they, they hang all the way down and you can hang things off them. I don't know. I, I can do a lot with that. I have these in my in my closet, right? I was wondering, what the heck? What are these for? You know what I think they're for? I, I would use them as a, as a shower outside my van, put them down on the ground so you can, don't step on the ground, on the rocks and sand while you're taking a shower but they're they're for your futon your comforter your what you sleep on you put it up there and then it keeps it off the off the wood and, and dries it out lets the air flow through who knew learn something new every day so uh well i figured out that i'm gonna get the grass thing grass i'm gonna get a pull cart little thing today and I'm uh, going to go back over to Edio and I'll show you over there what I'm thinking about getting at the, at the electronics shop. And uh, I'm going to get one of those little pull cart things and then I'm going to stuff it with stuff as much as I can here. And I'm going to go back to my apartment and I'm going to put in some grass. Let's do that before dark. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I can't find the little pull cart thing. All right, I got two big packages of green stuff. Let's go. 40 bucks. <laughs> Cheap. All right, so I'm looking for <clears throat> a washing machine. And um, <clears throat> I don't, my situation is a little weird because I only have one hose hookup. So I have to get something. Well, I don't even know if this works because Water goes in through here, the top, and then you have to spin dry it. Water goes in through the top over here, and then you have to spin dry it over here. So you have to take, pick up your clothes and move them over to this centrifugal spinner, and then hang your clothes outside. Totally sucks. But hey, I'm learning to learning to to survive, and. Over here, Amazon has them for half the price. Oh, this place is so expensive. And we've got these washing machines and these gigantic things. Well, so I'm looking at a refrigerator. I gotta get a refrigerator and I'm looking at something that's around uh, 80 or 90 liters. Now, when I go back to a van, I'm gonna be in like a 46 liter or 46 quart. Quarts and liters are about the same size. So I'm looking at a two-door type. This is a 70 liter, which is pretty small for me. But well, it's not bad. But I want the the um, I want it like this with the with the refrigerator on the top and the, and the freezer down on the bottom. That's pretty good, right? So this is 70 liters, but it's 34,000 yen. That's 350 bucks. That's pretty expensive. I can get it like 60% less or 50 no 30 30% less. So there's some other ones over here that are, are kind of tough. There's a 30 liter one, and, you know, but that's about it. And I really like this one over here. 
which is 84 liters, which is what I'm looking for, but it's 2,900 on sale. It's really nice. I really like it. I really like that one, but I'm not really sure for, you know, that much money. I can't do it. So then I need to look for an oven and I found the oven. I'm going to buy it today. I think I found this perfect oven. Look at these teppanyaki grills. Are they cool? <laughs> so I think I'm going to get this one. Look at this one. So this is what they all look like, right? This is what they all look like. Yeah, but this one's a big one. And it's, oh, it's got two, two trays on it. I've never heard of the company Twin Bird, but they make also a little bedside refrigerator over there. So I think they're pretty good. Pizza Stone. It's a hundred bucks and I have to have it now. It's on sale for 10 bucks off, whatever. But I have to have it. There isn't another one like it. I haven't seen another one anywhere like it. It has a stone interior, not, not an aluminum or steel interior. It has like stone, like ceramic interior. Ugh. Uh, it cooks on two levels. You can choose. Yes, you can choose the levels to, to cook from. It goes up to 250 degrees and it has an on off button, which it has a, uh, it has a confectional fan. Ah, dude, sold. All the other ones are cheaper. That's true, kind of. But I'm getting that one. I hope I can carry it home. I'm gonna do whatever I have to. It might take me a while. I'm doing it. And I can fit this pot, which I really like. I think I'm gonna get this pot. I'm looking for pots and pans. And the tea fowls are a hundred bucks. But there's one over here that's Rufus. Pretty good quality for 3,000. I'm thinking about getting that one. Uh, the handle comes off. This handle. Uh, looks like this and it comes off and then I can put it in, it fits inside that oven. I already took it down over there and it fits inside the oven so I can make like paella and uh, you know various casserole kind of dishes and stuff so time to debate whether to buy it or not. Okay, bye. So I got it home yeah, and I uh, got the grass home and uh, well <laughs> I'm not really good at math, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's what 40 bucks bought me, and I have this much more to go. So I figure it's going to cost me about $100 to get this, get this whole little space uh, done. But, oh man, it makes a huge difference. You know, it's really hard wood here, but then when you walk on this, you know, soft grass, grassy, cardboardy thing, oh, it's beautiful. I just love it. I love it. And the color is great too, I think. Yeah, I think it's going to look really good once I get uh, some of the wood furniture in here. You know, I've got all like tan, nice wood furniture, so I think it's going to look really good. And I got my uh, awesome oven in here. So I think the fridge is going to go here, actually. I'm going to put my desk over here and bookcase there. Nothing here. I don't know about the washing machine, but on my way, join me next time for another episode of Mike Gets His Life Back. Yeah.